Hey everyone, the release of the Wii U firmware spoofer called WUP installer seems to be near, so I'm making this video to get you ready and help you understand it. WUP installer can install any valid Nintendo update server content from an SD card to the Wii U system memory. Currently, installed titles cannot be uninstalled once again, except for game updates. Now you might be wondering what this has to do with firmware spoofing. Well, the Wii U uses a binary file which contains the current version and region of the system and is called version.bin. If the latest version of a title is installed, the version.bin file is updated to the latest version without actually being on that version. This will allow you to use all online functions. The eShop however contains additional checks and there currently is no workaround. For downloading titles, Gridia is providing a modified version of NAS Grabber. It is command line based, so you can't just double click nasgrabber.exe and expect something to come up. In order to know the title ID for a certain title, you can look at the title database on Wii U Brew. Instead of downloading the entire title, you only want the update, so replace the eighth character of the title ID with an E. Besides the title ID, you can also submit a version. However, if you leave it blank, it will download the latest one. In the following, I will show you how to look up the title ID of Mario Kart 8 European version and download its latest update using NAS Grabber. Once the download has completed, you should have a new directory in the NASGrabber folder named after the title ID you submitted to NASGrabber. Next, copy all files inside of the newly created folder to the SD card into a folder called install. It has to be located on the root of your SD card. Currently, you cannot have more than one title installation set up on your SD card, but again, this might change in the future. Now that the PC part is done, we can move on to the Wii U. As you might already know, the recommended firmware version for this is 5.32. It may work on other firmwares as well, but only if a working browser and kernel exploit exists. It is as easy as visiting a certain website, automatically returning to the home menu, loading the same website again and being redirected to the home menu again. The Wii U should now start down downloading and installing the title from your SD card in the background. Note that Credia did not publish the link yet, so we cannot try this out ourselves. If you enjoyed the video or found it useful, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.